All right, hello guys. As I've said in my previous video, this one's gonna be a tier list for the game. I'll talk about uh, every single unit briefly, not too much though. Uh, I'll do getting details for the SS tier units though, because I think they are really important for uh, for your progression. So let's start it with uh, with Miyuki. So basically, she's a support type unit. Her ult does really great damage, even though she's a support type. She also gives a defensive buff, so she's really good all around. And she also heals quite a bit, so she really does pretty much everything, and that's why she's in the double S tier. Mm. Now the next one is her brother, Tatsuya. Now Tatsuya is, a, is an attack type unit. He's also a single target unit, he's all that does huge damage and he has an ability that uh, make, makes his uh, ultimate gauge uh, refill faster and he also buffs himself uh, and his buffs give him uh, more damage and more defense so his, so his overall also really good to be fair, if I had to choose between the two, I think Miyuki does more stuff overall. She's she's definitely the better between the two. And the third one is Angelica. Um, we don't really have a an image of her in this uh, in this tier list, but I think I can add her in a minute. Let's just do that. Okay, yep, she's the one. I'll just rescale her. Okay, let's write. So that's Angelica. She's uh, she's also a damage type unit. Um, she's also a single target DPS, but she can uh, increase her her crit chance and also her defense. Which means I think the strongest units in the game have uh, overall high chance to crit, and she's buffing that, so that's why she's uh, in the double S tier. So these three units are your goal to get the pool. I think if you have two of the three, then you can pre then you're all set. I think. Miyuki is the is your top uh, priority, and then one of the two, Angelica or Tetsuya. Right now we should we should talk about the strong units. Now the first one, Kasumi, she's a support type unit. Oh wait, never mind. She's a she's an attack type unit. My bad. She does. She can uh, increase your ultimate gauge, and uh, that's pretty much what she's good for, really. She, <clears throat> she has also decent damage, but not that high to to be ranked higher. Um, the next one is uh, Yoshida. Now Yoshida is a is a tank unit, and he's the first tank we've seen up until now. Tanks are really good because. They can tank quite a bit of damage. For example, while I was progressing in the story, I had an issue with my 3-star unit that she basically died uh, almost every time. Now if I had a tank unit instead of her, I'd be all set. I could just rush through everything, I think. So I'm really missing a tank unit so far. He does have a single target tool though. Um, and his uh, first uh, skill does buff everyone's defense. Now the next one is Mayumi. Um, she's also a tank. Single target DPS, by the way. Uh, I mean her ultimate. Um, basically, she can debuff the enemy. So they deal less damage to you. That's why she's really good. If I, if I had to choose between the two, I'd go for... Mayumi, just 
just because the debuff is really useful. The next tank we have is Honoka. She can uh, regenerate her H her own HP. That's why she is uh, still in S tier. But she lacks in uh, damage. And she doesn't really help the team overall. She's just dirty tank, you know. For example, Mimi does uh, reduce the enemy's damage, but she doesn't do stuff like that. That's so I still go for Mimi. Okay, the next one is Zumi. She's a support type unit. She's also a, she also has a single ta single uh, single target. And she's just basically regenerates or ultimate gauge, and that's that's what she does. The next one is Mari Watanabe. Um, she's a tank. Um, she's also she her ult is also a single target damage, and she can get her ultimate gauge really quickly because she gets uh, I think. 10% every time she gets attacked. Um, Kasumi. As the next one, she's uh, a damage dealer. Oh wait, never, never mind, I already talked about her. The next one is... Uh, is... Uh, Saijo, I think that's what's, it, uh, that's what's his name. He's a tank. He does, he does decent damage. He's, he's, he's pretty much in a, an, an all-rounder, you know. The only thing he doesn't do is he doesn't buff or debuff the team itself, but he has decent damage and decent uh, tanking capabilities. The next one is uh, Izuki. She is a support unit. And uh, she has re really good healing, but that's pretty much it. She doesn't really do anything else well. The next one is Erika. She's a damage dealer unit. She's uh, also a single target one, but uh, what she does is uh, pretty much on she's only useful if the enemy is weak against uh, red units, red type units. The next one is Ichijoki. He's a damage dealer unit, single target. He can buff uh, his damage as well, but only if... Uh, the enemy team is uh, weak against uh, yellow units. And the last one is uh, Shizuku. She is uh, also a damage dealer unit. A single target ult. Uh, and uh, she can basically reduce her cooldowns and every time she uses her abilities and I think that's the main reason she's still here and that's pretty much it I can't really I don't know if there are any other four stars because I still have to check but I think that's it uh, also the S tier by the way it's a uh, order I, I think it's in order by usefulness I still think that the best tank is the second tank in the list, in the Asteri list, so I'd probably pull for her if she gets a banner in the near future. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think I've talked about, talked about everything. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Next time.